Now joining me at this time to discuss the federal government review of the existing COVID-19 restrictions is a virologist, Professor Oyewale Tomori. Prof, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Before we dwell on the updated guidelines for phase restriction of movement, let's talk about this virus itself. Since December 2019, when the first case was discovered in uh, China, we have uh, heard about several variants and the mutation just keeps going on. Is there likely to be an end to this change in phases? Yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, it, it's a natural thing for viruses to mutate. And the way they do that is when they start infecting people and moving from one person to another. If they don't get somebody to infect, they cannot mutate. It's an innocuous, whatever, virus, protein piece. It is only when it gets into us that it then, it then multiplies, and during the multiplication, it then mutates, and you get different variants. And this is a mechanism for you to survive against the body's uh, immune system. So when a new variant comes, I mean, when a virus enters the body, it tries to overcome the immunity of the body and changes its, its form. That's what you call mutation. And that leads to the variation that you have. All right, a lot Prof. of variation. All right, Prof. Yeah, let's, now talk about, uh, let's now talk yeah, about okay. the but, issue of fatality. In Nigeria and in Africa in general, the fatality rate has been really low compared to expectations from uh, those you may even want to call expert uh, before now and what is obtainable in other countries across the world what do you think is responsible for this but there, there are all we can say are speculations we don't really have clear cut uh, uh, information about that there are speculations that one the first of all that the virus itself is not behaving like it's behaving in other parts of the world there's also the issue of the fact that perhaps previous exposure to, to related virus might be protecting us because we, are, we have a lot of infections coming up in the African region. And therefore, it's believed that maybe an exposure, earlier exposure to something similar could be what is giving us the, the, the situation. But you also remember that a lot of the people who are dying in Europe are people from the age of about 50 and above who have other conditions uh, we'll go like uh, what you call comorbidities, like uh, uh, diabetes, uh, hypertension, heart conditions, something of that nature. But then the population in Africa is much, much lower. We have a larger proportion, over 40, 50 percent of our population is below 50. So, and this group, what they have is just a mild infection. So that gives the wrong impression that the virus is not here. Because we're not seeing people dying, it does not mean that the infection is not going on. Mm. All right, let's now talk about these uh, updated guidelines for phased restriction of movements. Nigerians are reacting to it in different ways and uh, putting a, into consideration on one hand the issue with uh, vaccination as well. What is your advice to the people at uh, this time? The, let me say one thing. I think I, I like the proactive approach of the government over this. They're taking this from the situation in India. India was quite almost like us when we started. Um, in fact, India was the center of the world that was producing vaccines for virtually everybody. And their situation was okay. Then suddenly, over a period, what did they do wrong? And there were two or three things they did wrong, which led, I think they got to be confident. We are the one producing vaccines for everybody, and the situation is not as bad. Then they kind of slowed down. And we were told that during this period, before the, the big thing came up, and they, they were doing a lot of uh, political campaigns in which there was no respect for MPI, non-pharmaceutical non <clears throat> interventions. And therefore, uh, and you know, India, with the 1.3 billion people, the state may be even as big as uh, half of Nigeria. So if you have political campaigns going on where nobody is wearing masks, of course, there's an opportunity to spread the virus and opportunity for the virus itself to change and become a variant that could cause more problems. And then you remember in the, about a month ago or less than a month ago, there was this big celebration in, around the Ganges River where they said about 3 million people went over there. There was no... So that, those are the factors. And Nigeria was trying to learn from that. It would be proactive. I think it's a good thing that the government has gone, gone this way, to be proactive. What we have is not a complete lockdown. What we have is what we call restrictions, targeted areas where we think the things can be spread, where people gather, and where you can have possibility of the virus spreading. And don't, don't believe some of the stories we are hearing about the numbers that are coming out of 
uh, we are getting. People are saying the numbers are going down. Your numbers are going down because you are not testing. Mm-hmm. You go and look at the NCDC report. You will find that some states are testing only one sample in a week. So let's stop deceiving ourselves. We're not testing. And that's why we're not getting the numbers. Mm. But then, Prof, we also know that before now, the uh, the concentration for testing was if you develop symptoms, then you can uh, come over to a test center to be tested. Or if you have to travel, then you come over to a test center. So it's not exactly at that point where anybody, just anybody like me, can walk up to a test center to get tested. Good. You are right. That's a good point. And the point is, in fact, you, you brought that point about the um, uh, people who are traveling. Go and check up. Has anybody told you how many of those traveling are positive? You never hear that figure. But that's a true reflection of what is happening in your country. At least 5% of the people who travel are, are positive. That's evidence of what is going on in the country. I, mean, I think they need to bring this information out to our people to let them know that there's a problem. If I'm traveling, 100 of us are traveling, and 20 of us are positive, that means 20% of your people are positive. So you're not getting the real figure of the number of positive cases. I think the government should be more open and provide this information of those who are traveling. How many of them test positive? They will know where our problem is. All right, Prof. Thank you very much for your insights at this time. It's Professor my pleasure. Professor Oyewale Tomori is a virologist. Thank you again for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.